the yes-no field. In Access, a yes-no field stores only two values, a yes or no, true or false. The yes-no field property is used when you have either one of two options only. For example, a yes-no field could include married, not married, attending, not attending, citizen or non-citizen. Let's create a yes-no field for the married field. So here I am in my married field. I'm going to go over to data type and I'm going to click on my little downward arrow and I'm going to click on yes, no. And that's it. When I click on dashboard view, I'll just have to save my table here. And you can see here we have a little checkbox. Now we'll come back and put some data in in one second. I'm going to go back now to my default view. And this time I'm going to go down to province and now I'm going to do a default value. You add a default value to a table whenever you want access to enter a value in a new record automatically. For example, you can have access always add the current date to new orders or the current country for your country field. Default values number one, saves the user typing in information. And number two, reduces the chance of data entry error for the most common input in a field. Let's create a default value for province. To create a default value, make sure you're in your field and come down to default value. Now, let's say for province, I want my default value to be Ontario because let's say most of my students live in Ontario. So I'll go double quotes, capital O, capital N, double quotes. And that's it. Let's save our table and let's see how we can input our information. Now my student ID, I'm just going to type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My first name. I'm going to extend my last name here. And let's say for married, I am married, so I'm going to put a little checkbox for married. My default province is Ontario, so I'm going to just leave it there. And I'm going to type in my second entry. So my second entry is, let's say, 111-222-333. And let's say for this example, uh, this uh, student is not married, so I'll leave it empty. And for the default province, let's say she does not live in Ontario, so I can change it to whatever I want. Let's say uh, she lives in BC. And I can go on and type in my third student. And that's it for yes, no, and default value. Let's save the table.